Wood sports floors need to withstand a great deal of abuse. A good maintenance program gives wood floors the protection, durability, and beauty needed to make your facility look its best. You play an important role how the wood floors in your building look and last. By learning how to implement a good wood floor care program, you will enhance your facility's appearance, improve the cleanliness of the environment, and be a valuable resource to your department. Betco's Sports Zone product offering has the right mix of chemicals, equipment, and processes for outstanding wood floor care maintenance. By using Betco products, procedures, and training outlined in this module, you'll maximize the efforts of your staff while reducing the overall costs associated with maintaining your facility's sports wood floor. This training module, which is one of the Betco Training Library series, focuses on the restorative and routine maintenance procedures for sports wood floors, specifically gym floors. It details the CGC recoding system which allows users to coat today and play tomorrow. This module will cover safety, preparation, routine maintenance, restorative maintenance, cleanup, sports floor care tips. Betco offers a complete maintenance management system for wood floors. Specific product recommendations will be made throughout this video. Be sure to choose the proper product for your job. Always follow Betco's recommendations for cleaning and maintaining your wood floors. Before beginning with any cleaning task, be sure that you fully understand how to use the chemicals and equipment required for the job. It is mandated by OSHA that every employee has a right to know about the possible chemical hazards within their workplace. A material safety data sheet, commonly called an MSDS, will provide information regarding the chemicals within your building. Read and understand the MSDS, as well as the product label for every product that you use. One item addressed on MSDS sheets is volatile organic compound limits. VOC limits continue to be lowered for various coating categories, which includes clear wood coatings, water-based, and oil-modified urethane. Betco's Sport Zone product line includes several VOC compliant water base and oil modified urethane products for customers to choose from. Ask your Betco representative, Betco Sport Zone distributor, or go to Betco.com for the latest updates concerning states with restricted VOC levels. Wear the proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, to protect you from exposure to cleaning chemicals. Gloves and a mask or goggles will prevent chemical splashes from coming into contact with your skin and eyes. Accidents will be limited when the proper caution signs are posted prior to cleaning, such as wet floor signs. When preparing for wood floor maintenance, first review the supply checklist. Then gather the appropriate chemicals, coatings, and proper cleaning equipment. A supply checklist can be found in your workbook that accompanies this training module. Included in this workbook and online at Betco.com is a sports floor recoat worksheet that will assist you to properly prepare for recoating your wood floors. Wood sports floors, such as gymnasiums and racquetball courts, attract a great deal of sweat, dirt, and oil residue. By routinely cleaning the floors with Betco's GT Cleaner, you will effectively remove abrasive and oily soils. GT Cleaner can be applied by tack mopping or delivered through an automatic scrubber. To begin routine maintenance, first dust mop the entire floor with a dry dust mop at least once per day. Also, encourage the use of outside and inside matting to limit the amount of soil, grit, and moisture on your wood floor. To tack mop, dilute one gallon of GT cleaner for every four gallons of water into a bucket. Soak several large towels in the solution, making sure they are thoroughly wet. Wring out the towels to remove excess moisture. Wrap a towel around a clean push broom and tack the floor. To prevent the redeposit of dirt and oil, refold the towel using clean sides as needed or use multiple towels. Pay special attention to corners. Repeat the procedure in each area of the floor until the entire floor has been cleaned. To use an automatic scrubber, place a white or red pad on the pad driver. 
Fill the solution tank with clean, cool water. Add GT Cleaner to the solution tank at a dilution of 2 to 4 ounces per gallon of water. Note, automatic scrubbers should not be used on newly installed floors or if they are less than 3 years old. Three to five recoatings are recommended to provide adequate protection from excessive moisture. Always consult flooring installer for additional information. Begin scrubbing the floor. Always clean the floor with the grain of wood, overlapping slightly with each pass. Do not use excessive water and be sure the squeegee is operating properly. Always begin along the edges, never on painted areas. Restorative maintenance should be performed when the routine maintenance no longer gives the appearance you desire. Generally, this is done every 12 to 18 months. Betco's Sports Zone program can help maintenance managers determine when and how often to perform restorative maintenance procedures. Restorative maintenance involves the following procedures. Preparation, CGC system, scrub and recoat program, dry screening or wet screening, and finish application. Be sure to wear non-marking, soft-soled, athletic-style footwear while performing these procedures. Begin by removing all obstacles from the area. Use a long-handled scraper or putty knife to remove tape, stickers, gum, and other debris that has adhered to the floor surface. Tape should always be pulled at an angle or to the side, not straight up, to reduce the chance of damaging finish. Only use painter's blue masking tape, which should not remain on the floor for more than a few days. Using a clean, dry dust mop, carefully sweep the entire floor area, removing the soils. Dispose of the swept soils properly. Choose your game plan. Betco offers three game plans for preparing your floor for recoating. Game plan number one is the CGC system that features tie glue, which prepares the existing coating for a new top coat without the mess, time, and abrasion of old finish. This results in building a deeper gloss with less finish coats and reduced labor time. Tie glue is recommended for floors in good condition where application time is critical or the recoating budget is limited. Tie glue can be used over oil modified and water-based finishes. If the floor has been coated with an acrylic finish or wax, it will be necessary to sand the floor according to MFMA procedures. To begin, remove all tape, dust, chewing gum, etc. from the floor. Dust mop, vacuum, all dirt and dust from the floor surface. Pay special attention to corners. Dilute PK cleaner at 4 ounces per gallon of water. PK Cleaner is designed to deep clean heavily soiled floors and remove shoe scuff marks from the old finish. Run the diluted solution through an auto scrubber with blue pads. Normally you will get 800 square feet per pad before having to change to a new pad. For areas the floor machine cannot reach, use a brown utility pad and holder. Follow with a clean water rinse through the auto scrubber. Detail mop the edges and corners. The floor should be clean but not dull from this procedure. For heavily soiled or marked areas, it may be necessary to double scrub or use a standard floor machine heeled to aid in the removal of these tougher marks. Allow the floor to dry completely, approximately 30 to 60 minutes, and inspect the floor to ensure all scuff marks are removed. Drying fans may be used to speed up the drying process. Next. Tie glue should be applied to the entire surface. Tie glue is a bonding agent which chemically bonds the existing coating to the new top coat. Soak and wring out a new lint-free rayon cotton blended or finish mop in tie glue. The mop must be damp but not saturated. Apply tie glue to the floor leaving a tight thin layer at a spread rate of 2,500 to 3,000 square feet per gallon. The tie glue will enhance the gloss of the floor and may seem tacky even after it dries. Another method of applications is to use the Betco Quick Coat 2 applicator. This will reduce application time up to 50%. Allow to dry for one hour but not more than six hours and then apply the specific water-based wood finish with the weighted T-bar applicator. 
If more than six hours has elapsed, apply an additional application of tie glue. Using the CGC system and SS Gym Coat water-based finish, you can coat today and play tomorrow. Game plan number two, scrub and recoat program is recommended for floors with no adhesion problems, inexperienced staffs, limited budgets, and a desire to burnish or restore the finish on a regular basis. Prepare the floor for the cleaning process. Remove all dry soils, tape, chewing gum, and other debris from the floor. Vacuum the dirt from the floor. Dilute PK cleaner at four ounces per gallon of clean water. Apply using an auto scrubber with maroon pads or mop on a solution in small sections of the floor. Allow a few minutes of dwell time and then scrub the area with the use of an auto scrubber or low speed floor machine. Rotate pads at a rate of 400 square feet per pad and then rinse with clean water. Detail mop the edges and corners missed by the scrubber. The floor should be consistently dull from this scrubbing. For areas the floor machine cannot reach, use a brown utility pad and holder. Inspect the floor to see that all scuff marks are removed. Repeat the cleaning process if necessary to remove additional soils and marks. Drying fans may be used to speed the drying process. After the floor has dried completely, coat the floor with LP Gym Coat or Easy Gym Coat and Seal water-based gym finish. Both products are single component and do not require a catalyst. Two coats minimum are recommended using a weighted T-bar applicator. Game plan number three is the dry wet screening method. Game plan number three is recommended for oil modified urethane or water based coatings for floors with adhesion problems, severe scuffing or scratching, and with properly trained staff members. Use a 175 RPM floor machine to perform the dry screen procedure. Turn off ventilation systems during the dry screening method. Do not restart the ventilation system until the final top coat is dry to the touch. Select the proper screen grade. If deep scuffs and scratches are present, a 100 grit screen will provide the best results. If scuffs and scratches are minor, a 120 grit screen should be sufficient. Attach a white or red floor pad to the pad driver and place it on the machine. Place the screen under the pad. Begin dry screening the floor. Be sure to wear a dust mask or respirator. Always screen with the grain of the wood, overlapping approximately 50% on each pass. This will ensure a uniform screening. Replace screens approximately every 500 square feet. For areas the floor machine cannot reach, use a utility pad holder kit and screen. Old screens can be used for this procedure. Simply cut them to fit the pad holder. Use a wet dry vac with filter and a squeegee assembly to remove dust. Do not use a treated dust mop for this procedure. Tack mop the floor using a water dampened towel. Rinse the towel as necessary for water based coatings. If applying OMU finish, tack with WC 117 waterless cleaner. Repeat tacking until the floor is completely free of dust and residue. With the wet screening method, use Betco GT Cleaner at 2 to 4 ounces per gallon to reduce the airborne dust. The ventilation system does not have to be turned off with wet screening as no airborne dust is created. After screening or the application of tie glue is completed, it is time to begin the finish application. Always take into consideration how the weather can affect finish application. Temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees and humidity of 35 to 50 percent are acceptable ranges for applying finish. The floor's moisture content should be 8 to 12 percent as measured with a moisture meter. Betco SS Gym Coat or HP Gym Coat finishes are two component systems that require a catalyst. Caution. When mixing the catalyst into the product, slowly add catalyst while stirring. Stir thoroughly for 30 seconds. Replace lid on container and let stand for five minutes before use. Once catalyzed, check product label for pot light. 
Check the product literature or label for the approximate square foot coverage. Carefully pour product into a clean, dry plastic pour can. Pour a 4 inch wide line of product along one wall with the grain of wood. Be sure to thoroughly shake or wet and wring out applicator head prior to use to remove any loose fibers. With the T-bar applicator at a slight angle, pull it in a squeegee type motion, moving the puddle line towards you. It is important to always maintain a wet edge. As necessary, add finish to maintain the four inch line, carefully reducing the puddle size when approaching the opposite wall. At the end of each row, make a smooth turn and squeeze out excess finish with the grain next to the puddle. Always move the applicator with the length of the boards, not across the boards. When two to three feet from exiting wall, begin to taper the puddle line down to a one to two inch bead. Back out of the room by wetting small sections of the remaining floor brushing away from you in the same direction as the grain of the wood. Remember to keep a wet line of product and close doors at the exit points so the finish will not start to set up. An alternative method, the angle method, of exiting the floor is as follows. As you near the side wall, approximately 10 feet out, begin to taper the puddle line down to a 1 to 2 inch bead. Start to angle the product line towards the farthest corner. finish as needed and continue to shorten the product line as you get closer to the side wall, leaving you room to finish and exit the door. Allow product to dry three to six hours between coats. If more than six hours has elapsed since coating, abrade the floor with a maroon pad or a new 120 or finer grit screen. Vacuum and tack with water dampened towels between coats or apply an additional application of tie glue. Follow label or literature recommendations for the number of coats and recommended dry times. Note, allow adequate ventilation. Circulate air above the floor or place fans to pull moisture away from the floor. Allow adequate airflow for at least 24 hours after the final coat is applied. Use air conditioners and exhaust fans where possible. Do not use cleaners on the floor for the first two weeks after coating with a water-based product. Dust mop daily. Use Betco's GT Cleaner as directed for maintenance after the first two weeks. When finished, properly clean up, rinse and wipe down all equipment. The Betco Sports Zone line also has a number of OMU coatings. Follow these procedures for applying OMU finishes. Always maintain adequate ventilation during all phases of the coating process. Apply specific OMU finish with a weighted T-bar, lamb's wool applicator, or easy way applicator. Consult product literature or label for approximate square foot coverage, number of recommended coats, and dry times. Do not use cleaners on the floor for the first four weeks after coating with an OMU product. After four weeks, use Betco's GT Cleaner or WC-117 Waterless Cleaner for routine cleaning. Always screen with the grain of wood. Always re-inspect the floor for scuffs and marks prior to coating. Use a survey checklist to ensure you have sufficient product and supplies so you don't run out in the middle of the job. While applying finish, always maintain a wet edge of approximately 4 inches. As you get closer to the end of the floor area, back this edge down slightly to avoid excess product on your last pass as you exit the floor area. 
Limit the amount of liquid used on wood floors. Avoid excessive puddling and ensure automatic scrubber squeegee blades are operating properly. Wipe up liquid spill ASAP. When screening, do not move side to side with the machine. Rather, move in a continuous sideways path, overlapping 50% on each pass. Take into consideration how the weather will affect finish application. Temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees and humidity between 35 and 50 percent are acceptable ranges for applying finish. Always stir in catalyst slowly. Do not shake the finish container to mix product and catalyst. Auto scrubber should not be used on newly sanded or installed floor until a minimum of three to five recoating applications have been performed. Do not use cleaning solutions on newly recoated water-based finishes for at least two weeks. Wait 30 days for oil-modified finished floors. The job that you do is very important to the image of your facility and to the well-being of the people who come through the doors every day. Be proud of the skills you are developing and know that you are truly making a difference in creating a safe, clean, and healthy environment. Every facility has different environments, facility usage, time to maintain floors, skill of staff and available equipment, and all of these variables should be considered when choosing Vetco's game plan number one, game plan number two, or game plan number three. weeks after coating with an OMU product. After four weeks, use Betco's GT Cleaner or WC-117 Waterless Cleaner for routine cleaning. Always screen with the grain of wood. Always re-inspect the floor for scuffs and marks prior to coating. Use a survey checklist to ensure you have sufficient product and supplies so you don't run out in the middle of the job. While applying finish, always maintain a wet edge of approximately 4 inches. As you get closer to the end of the floor area, back this edge down slightly to avoid excess product on your last pass as you exit the floor area. Limit the amount of liquid used on wood floors. Avoid excessive puddling and ensure automatic scrubber squeegee blades are operating properly. Wipe up liquid spill ASAP. When screening, do not move side to side with the machine. Rather, move in a continuous sideways path, overlapping 50% on each pass. Take into consideration how the weather will affect finish application. Temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees and humidity between 35 and 50% are acceptable ranges for applying finish. Always stir in catalyst slowly. Do not shake the finish container to mix product and catalyst. Auto scrubber should not be used on newly sanded or installed floor until a minimum of three to five recoating applications have been performed. Do not use cleaning solutions on newly recoated water-based finishes for at least two weeks. Wait 30 days for oil-modified finished floors. The job that you do is very important to the image of your facility and to the well-being of the people who come through the doors every day. Be proud of the skills you are developing and know that you are truly making a difference in creating a safe, clean, and healthy environment. Every facility has different environments, facility usage, time to maintain floors, skill of staff and available equipment, and all of these variables should be considered when choosing Betco's game plan number one, game plan number two, or game plan number three.